so this thing is referred to as spice deck or the spice netlist in in a in a VLSI domain we call it as spice deck and that's and this is or it's called the spice netlist so it come it it consists of your netlist description it consists of your model files okay and it consists of the simulation commands so now what we'll be doing if it will be doing is we'll plot some graphs we'll plot plot some spice waveform for width of 1.8 micron and length of 1.2 micron device so w by l your w by l ratio becomes 1.5 and this is what we are going to look into in in, in our upcoming lectures okay we'll keep the w by l constant and your w will be 1.8 l will be 1.2 so i have a small spice setup over here we'll be running it now so this is this is the window of spice so there are there are various techniques to install spice it's a free it's an open source so you can download it from from the open source uh, open source site and this is how the windows windows ng spice looks looks like something like this okay we have the netlist described in a file it's called id hyphen vg underscore w i gave i gave a name to it and this is how this is what we just described we have the netlist description we have the netlist description over here we this is the net, your netlist description this is the model file inclusion we are using the model files okay and then the simulation commands so we'll we'll you simulate this particular netlist in this in this particular spice window and see what do we get okay so let's try to do that i have kept one i've kept one folder i've kept one folder over here and i have kept this is uh, this is the name that i have given to my netlist so let's try to do do a spice simulation so we will minimize this we'll source the circuit this is called i have given the name as dot cir okay we will source it okay so it has it has actually now you know your spice engine has the netlist has a netlist with it now so we'll run it run the command is just run okay then you will display we'll do use a display command to see what all what all things we have so these are your nodes you have your you, ha, you had nodes we had in n1 vdd and vdd hyphen uh, hash branch will be called as current so whenever you have this hash branch that this is called as current so this will be your drain current this will be your this will be your gate current and this will be your drain current okay so we'll do uh we'll we'll plot now we'll find out what all plots are available so this plot will be given some name so it will be called as dc1 okay so we are going to plot is the dc transfer characteristics so it the name given to uh, this is dc1 so we do set plot it will give you a list of plots and what we want to plot is dc1 so let's put dc1 over here okay so now if you use the same command again display you will have this list of things that you can that you can actually plot now we'll plot the drain current hyphen negative vdd hash branch okay that's what and the reason we have this negative vdd it's basically the difference of the conventional current flow whereas the flow of electrons so that's why we have to put this negative i'll come to this when we go into semiconductor device physics for now we have to put a negative over here and see how does the plot looks like so just we press enter and there you go we have this plot so this is how your plot looks like at every gate voltage so initially the gate voltage was zero if you see there is a small there is a small difference over here we can just do a we, we can zooming into this area okay while we zoom into this area we'll see this one there are two plots one is the current at this point which is gate voltage at zero gate voltage as at 0.5 and so on 